Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how to identify a top performer in your team. Say you're working in a team as a team leader or a team member. How do you identify the top performer in your team? And also how do you know other team members strengths and weakness? I'm going to explain this using the Flintstone cartoon picture. Okay, for example, this is the Flintstone car. In this car, there is no engine. The team members are the engine. The team members have to move this car from the start to the finish and this car is the goal for the team they have to achieve this goal there are different type of team members team leader runners joggers walkers and then riders here the car is the goal the team member has to move this car from start to finish and each team has a leader and the responsibility of the leader is to set the goal and motivate the team and gives the direction to the team. Now, I would like to ask you a question. In your team, are you a team leader, runner, or a jogger, or a walker, or a rider? Please think about it. When I say runner, they are the backbone of the organization. They take initiative. They practice respectful communication within the team. They are very proactive. They appreciate and support the team members. They help the team to remove the blockages. These are the runners and they are the top performers of the team. The next team member's quality is joggers. The joggers within the team just meets the expectation. If the team needs a task to be completed, the joggers will complete it efficiently but they lack confidence. And one more point, they love recognition a lot. And the next type of the team member is walker. They perform the task slowly and they often complain and spread the negativity within the organization. So these are the walkers. And finally, I'm going to talk about the riders in the team. The riders are the one who performs only when others are watching. They would like to hide behind the team. Actually, they are really smart, but they lack work ethic. Sometimes they need a lot of motivation to become walker or most probably they might be removed from the team because of their poor performance. So this is all about the riders in the team. They are like watchers. As a team leader, you can motivate the joggers and walkers to become the runners. I would say identify yourself within a team and then have a plan to become a runner. Hope this small information is useful. All the best for your career. Please share your opinion. Thank you.